Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. I'm gonna give you an update on all the files that I have attached to our Google Classroom so that it's easy to use, easy to understand. And forgive me, I'm gonna be reading a script because I just want everything to be nice and clear. So thank you for all of you who have replied to my email from last week. It was really great to hear from you. I've just posted the MIDI recordings of the three pieces we are working on. What you'll notice is that is just a part one, just the beginning of the pieces. Uh, this is to keep the file sizes low enough for me to edit for the final recording uh, because storage is always an issue. It is also an efficient way to learn a piece if you don't plan on recording. Uh, let me give you a quick rundown of how these MIDIs are set up. First, you're going to hear the, your starting pitches. Then there's going to be a drum giving the tempo and then a, a break. And that's so that we can hear your breath naturally uh, and it's not clouded by uh, like a tempo, a metronome click. Um, the metricone clicks are not only for you to embody the tempo before using, but also for me to line up the videos when I do the final edit. When you are practicing, I recommend listening, only listening to the MIDI recording with the music next to you and maybe do it a second time and then uh, try to sing along with the recording. After singing along a few times, I would listen to the original recording or a real life choir uh, performing it so that you get an idea of the dynamics and the overall shapes of the lines. Listening is one of the best ways to practice. Uh, you wouldn't believe the detail that you'll pick up just from listening. Here are some notes for each of the pieces. First, we have Earth Song. The dynamics are everything. The dynamics should come, uh, do not come across in the MIDI file whatsoever. So I am challenging you to get familiar with recordings of this piece and the mood. It is a slow tempo. So make sure that you sing with direction and energy, especially with those really long held notes. Holding the notes full value is very important. Next we have Bumblebee. This is the shortest part and probably the quickest section to learn. I want to note that the bass tenor and alto two all have the same starting pitch, so it is the first starting pitch. Soprano twos have the melody first, and there's a lot of character in the line with the notes. So it's important to listen to all of the other sections because they're very rhythmic. This will help us lock in. Finally, secretly my favorite, is the Ave Generosa. This is the largest section and will take the most time. Listen to it lots. I can make the section shorter if you feel more comfortable recording smaller segments, uh, but this piece shifts between three parts and the final part is extremely similar to the first. Your efforts will definitely pay off. Please comment down below what parts you will be singing in each or any of the pieces so that we can cover all the parts. Next week, we will talk about recording the part ones. I'm hoping to start receiving most, if not all, the part ones of Bumblebee and Earthsong by the end of next week. Uh, but keep me informed if you can't find the time, if it's too busy, Keep this is an open conversation. Keep in mind these are just opportunities to participate. If you'd rather do something completely different, please send me an email. Hope you're doing okay. Keep making music and I'll update you next week. Bye.